Well, tonight we are learning more about Philadelphia's bid to become the home of Amazon's second headquarters. Cities and towns all across the nation are pulling out all the stops to land the tech giant. So what sets Philadelphia apart? Eyewitness News reporter David Spun set out to find out. Will Philadelphia deliver? The package in this case is a $5 billion investment and 50,000 jobs. A second headquarters for Amazon, one of the most profitable companies on the planet. We have come together to rally around a once in a generation opportunity. The local pitch is Philadelphia delivers. Chamber of Commerce President John Fry joined other officials, including Mayor Jim Kenney. All are hoping that Philly delivers. Philadelphia is in the Goldilocks zone for Amazon. Just right. It possesses all of the key ingredients the company needs to support its long-term growth. Several promotional videos are making the case. One includes Sixers Joel Embiid talking about his love for the city. Philadelphia has three sites ready for Amazon. The first, Schuylkill Yards, a large area near 30th Street Station under development. The second is U City Square, another open area near Drexel's campus. The third and final spot, the Philadelphia Naval Yard. It's home to Urban Outfitters, Tasty Cake, and GlaxoSmithKline. The site is expansive and close to both Delaware and New Jersey. Will Philadelphia deliver? You bet, according to Mayor Jim Kenney, in this rare emotional plea. He says the new headquarters would change all lives in this city. Regardless of their zip code and regardless of their race or ethnicity, um, I, just left, I just left the Jesus School this morning and looked at all those young kids that really will have an opportunity to step into the Amazon space with the right resources and the right, re and the right time and effort that's given to them. Several other cities in the tri-state area are also applying for Amazon's second headquarters. Philadelphia happens to be the largest in this area. We will find out Amazon's choice next year. David Spunt, CBS3 Eyewitness News.